Hi, my name is Sam Ahmed. My objective with this presentation is to highlight what is CBDC, known as Central Bank Digital Currencies. In this presentation, I will discuss blockchain technology and the first country to implement CBDC. The United Arab Emirates has been promoting digital currencies since the beginning with cryptocurrency support and CBDC development initiatives. The central bank is looking to build a secure cloud infrastructure to run financial and insurance services. This presentation will highlight blockchain technology and will also highlight Bahamas Sand Dollar, the first CBDC launched by the central bank in October 2020. In 2009, a white paper by Satoshi Nakamoto introduced Bitcoin, the very first application of blockchain technology. Bitcoin refers to a peer-to-peer -peer digital financial system. A blockchain is a distributed database that is shared among other computer networks. Blockchain are best known for their crucial role in cryptocurrency systems such as Bitcoin for maintaining a secure and decentralized record of transactions. A ledger is a technology of accounting, of keeping track of who owns what and is instrumental in modern capitalism. Ledgers are essential and trust in the ledger is most effective when it is centralized and strong. The purpose of blockchain is to allow digital information to be recorded and dis distributed without being changed. A financial institute might, for example, want to add an item to the ledger when the ownership of an asset is transferred. As a result, blockchains are referred to as d distributed ledger technology, DLTs. Central banks around the world are beginning to explore, test and implement some form, of, some form of central bank digital currency as part of their mandates to continue to involve money and payments. The two most common types of CBDCs proposed that you can encounter are as follows, retail and wholesale. The UAE will be adopting the retail version. The Bahama is renowned for its amazing beaches, but it is also getting a lot of attention with its blockchain technology. In October 2020, the island launched one of the world's first central bank-backed digital currencies, the Sand Dollar, which is pegged to the US dollar. It is an initiative to promote a more exclusive access to regulated payment and other financial services for its unbanked and underbanked communities and socio-economic groups. Furthermore, the central bank expects to reduce service delivered costs and increase transactional efficiency for financial service across the Bahamas by introducing this retail central bank digital currency, the CBDC. Sand dollar is not a type of cryptocurrency ex like Bitcoin. As part of my recommendation, I will highlight a few points as follows. Although CBDCs are still in the early stages, they provide a wide range of opportunities to the financial sector. CBDCs will be the future of finance, with central banks eager to adopt innovative technologies. The board can consider using their own CBDC, which could be pegged to the UAE dinar and they could call it the DS dollar. Alternatively, it could be pegged to the US dollar. A factor to consider is that the introduction of CBDCs would make it very simple for people to transfer money from a regular payment account with a commercial bank to the CBDC accounts with the central bank. It is important to note that CBD is essentially cashless money. This could create a declining use of cash. These notes and coins would vanish under a centralized CBDC. 
However, many people will find this undesirable because cash is still widely used for everyday purchases. Another factor to consider is that the introduction of a CBDC would make it very simple for people to transfer money from a regular payment account with a commercial bank to a CBDC with a central bank. If this happens on a large scale, we could look at a digital bank run. As a result, banks may experience liquidity issues and the monetary base may shrink. At the moment, blockchain technology still has its limitations and traditional payment technology such as Visa is far more superior. Also, the most significant distinction is that payments made with a banknote or coins is fully anonymous, whereas a payment made with a payment account, whether with a commercial or central bank, is not by definition because every transaction is recorded in bank's administration. Also, the central bank must constantly monitor the payment system to prevent illegal transaction or tax evasion. In formal terms, it would have to comply with anti-money laundering and anti-criminal transactions. My final rec recommendation to the central bank is to introduce CBDC as a supplement to the current system. It would then circul circulate alongside existing currencies, both cash and money in payment accounts held with commercial banks. The central bank payment should include a stable coin that coexists with cash. It can be used as a banknote once cash is no longer available. However, crypto wallets and card-based variants must be available.